you're about to sit your last core GCSE exam. For many, this is their last exam overall. Here's what to do to make sure that exam goes as best as it possibly can. Now, the first thing, the most important thing is you have to really push for this, okay? the la It's literally the last weekend of your exams. So don't make the mistake of just leaving it, doing nothing because you're demotivated, you're tired. Don't do that, okay? Honestly, this is literally the final push. It is worth every single bit of effort that you put into this. This is exactly what I did before my physics exam because physics for me was the last as well. Literally, I had two days before it and I just worked so hard for physics. I didn't really want to, obviously. Physics isn't a subject I particularly enjoy, but I ground through it and I ended up getting a nine. So the biggest and most important piece of advice you can take from this video is just go and do work. You need to put in the hours for physics. You have a whole weekend before this exam. So really go for it. It's going to be worth it now. And you want to make sure you end as strong as you possibly can. Don't end like with doing no work, demotivated, okay? Just motivate yourself for this final bit, okay? And another thing I want to add as well is, for many, this is the last GCSE video that you will see from me. So I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone for the support, and I'm going to continue during your A-levels. So I'll be doing this again in two years' time for you all, and next year there'll be lots of A-level videos. So please make sure you stay subscribed, leave a like, leave any video requests and stuff like that. But I will continue to upload, but yeah, end of an era. Anyway, so the first thing I want to probably talk about then is equations. Now, as you probably know by now, the reason physics is a really nice subject to end on is because you get the equation sheet. So the first and most important thing you need to do is know how to use the equation sheet, know your units really well, and practice with those mathematical questions. Maths in physics makes up at least 30% for across different exam boards. It slightly changes, but it's a huge part of your grade okay you could pass with just the maths so you need to make sure you're really really strong with that and that would be the probably my biggest area of focus is i'd be testing myself on those maths questions but importantly i would also be focusing on like grade nine really difficult maths questions now i recommended this last video but i know i think there was a five marker for aqa like really difficult physics question they know that you get the equation sheet so i wouldn't be surprised if there are there's another like hard five six mark question where you have to combine two equations okay so try and practice some of those really difficult ones just so that doesn't catch you out like it caught some people out now my next point then is you really need to go above and beyond or you really want to go above and beyond now's the time just to give it everything you've got you want to test yourself in loads of different ways and just push for this and that brings me on really nicely to the sponsor of today's video which is brilliant.org so brilliant is basically a website where you can learn by doing okay that's the principle so basically it's a super interactive set of courses and you can select courses depending on what you want and you can work through this little bit daily or a fair amount daily because we haven't got long now until these exams and it's really going to help develop your scientific thinking ahead of this exam so i'd really recommend brilliant it's six times more effective than just like watching a video or something on youtube and because you want to really go for it then make sure to try out brilliant and with my code if you go to brilliant dog forward slash henry brand or click the link in the description you'll get a free month okay and 20 percent off a premium annual subscription so do that now just get it for free try it out and just work through the scientific thinking course that's the one i'd recommend because you can slowly build up and it actually is very physics focused so i'd 100 percent recommend that and if you're going to going on to do a level science and i'd continue doing it as well Okay, Seneca is really useful too. So Seneca topics. Now, in the build up to my GCSE exams, I went through all of the Seneca before the physics paper, okay? So I think there's probably four or five topics. Just do all of them, okay? It's really worth putting in that effort for this exam. I knew that. Like I said, I didn't want to, but I did it. And you should do that. If it was if it was me, I'd definitely be going through all the Senecas. Same again with free science lessons. In the build up to my physics exam, I watched every single free science lessons like physics video. That's a bit extreme. You don't need to do that. But you can watch a lot of them. Watch a lot of his videos, particularly around your weak areas. It's a bit of a tricky topic, uh, physics paper two. There's a couple of strange topics on there. Magnetism, I hated. I hated magnetism, to be honest. Like that. I just don't like that topic. So physics is home to some of my least favourite like individual topics. So make sure you're learning that. Put some effort into understanding it. And that's where free science lessons, brilliant, like I said, is going to come in and be very useful for you. So make sure you're kind of on top of that. As always, then, the key to science, especially right before, is just loads of questions, okay? So do loads and loads of questions, print them out, just do practice paper after practice paper. I'd probably spend at least, like, 
hour and a half a day of just questions. So like I said, really push for it. Try some harder questions. But the more of these you do, the better you're going to get, especially on stuff like maths. The usual waffle then, uh, practicals. Well, it's not waffle, but you have heard it so many times. Practicals, learn the practicals, okay? Make sure you're good at practicals because they're going to come up. Like I said, I've said that so many times that you should know it by now. And don't leave anything blank. Um, answer every single question that you can. Multiple choice questions, try and be nice and careful as well. So that's my biggest advice. Like I said, the best thing you can do is really just put in the effort for this exam. If I had to summarise it, roughly what I'd do would be do probably one or two past papers, probably two, alongside some hard questions and equation focused questions. Then I would use Seneca. I'd go through all of them. I'd also do brilliant. It's like I said, you want to go above and beyond. It's about testing yourself with so many different methods. So A, you don't get bored. B, you're testing in different ways, which really helps like strengthen the connection in your brain. So that's my main advice. Don't give up on learning content in terms of flashcards. You can still flashcard content. From my A-level history exam that I just sat, literally two days before I learned like 40 flashcards. So if I can do it, you 100% can. And yeah, if this is our last video or last video that you watch from me for GCC season then all I can say is thank you for all of the support I hope your exams go really well I'll be back again on results day and I'm also actually traveling in a couple of days so I'm sure you'll see more of me if you choose to subscribe and then in A-levels as well but if that's if you've had enough of me then thank you for all the support and yeah leave a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video